Greetings, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you, geographer and educator, GIS professional. And I have written numerous times in the past and also made videos about the Wayback imagery from ESRI. This is an amazing set of gigabyte loads of satellite imagery, high resolution, all over the world. And you have it at your fingertips because it is part of the Living Atlas of the World, the Living Atlas of the World, an amazing set of 8,500 data layers. In the Wayback imagery, which was always wonderful to, to analyze human and natural changes across the landscape, it just got better with the new swipe tool on the left side. So if you did not use the swipe tool, what you could do is you could look at changes over time by clicking on these satellite images. I would highly advise clicking on only versions with local changes, so you're getting a subset where there's changes in the local area. But what you'd have to do is you'd have to hover over these different scenes or change it entirely. But to compare, you'd have to sort of hover over this to get these different tiles as you see me doing right here. But now with the swipe tool, it makes it a lot easier because then you can specify what age or date of the satellite image you want on the left side and what date you want on the right side. So any of these are, are changeable, but you can also then look at changes and here southwest las vegas lots of changes over a short period of time new subdivisions for example let's go over right over here this intersection now you've got a big ikea where you in the past had basically shrubs and a few rattlesnakes and sagebrush so lots of changes in a short amount of time so it's an excellent tool for teaching about again natural changes on the landscape volcanic eruptions, coastal erosion, etc., and then human changes on the landscape, urbanization, agricultural expansion, deforestation, reforestation, and much more. Let's explore a few of these places in the Wayback imagery. What about this? If I zoom out a little bit, I can change my focus. Instead of urbanization, I can look at changes in Lake Mead, which many of you know is actually a reservoir. You can see the dam over here, Hoover Dam, right here on the Colorado River. But let's just take a look at the water levels between 2018 on the left and 2014 on the right, or 2016. If you click in these images, it'll tell you exactly what the dates are of these satellite images on the left and the right, which is very nice to have. But take, take a look at these different dates and the different water level. You should say, what's wrong with this picture? If we continue to have drying of the climate in the western part of the U.S. and in many other places around the world, how are cities like Las Vegas, which are in part dependent on water in these kinds of reservoirs, going to be able to be sustained? Wow, so just in a short amount of time, you can see, you can see some changes there. Let's take a look at another place around the world. This is Eastbourne and Beachy Head in England, one of my all-time favorite landscapes, the Chalk Cliffs. But if you get in here tightly over Burling Gap, you can start seeing the retreat of the coast. And in fact, there's a, there's a row house that's right here that the far western end is now, has now been torn down because the, the, cliffs, the cliff face is, is literally 10 meters or less from the western edge of that housing row. You can also see different dates. You can see people on the beach over here on, on the right-hand side and a lack of people on the left-hand side. Based again, it's October on the left-hand side, it's March on the right-hand side, maybe it's spring holiday, that type of thing. So you can also see there's a lot few, fewer people on this left side image than the right side image. So fascinating to be able to look at things like that. You can also determine you know, what time of day the satellite image was flown and so on. And of course, you've got the date stamp right here. And as I mentioned before, you can click in these images and see exactly when this was not only gathered, but then mosaic. They're, they're oftentimes two different dates. You can see here that it was gathered on 2011, but then shown in this version at 2014. So pay attention to the dates, be critical of the data, Agricultural expansion in many parts of the world, central USA, in this case, central north central Saudi Arabia, you can see the center pivot irrigation uh, expansion here over about a six year period. Let's take a look at this. You probably know what this is, the Three Gorges Dam in China. So you can see the river flowing through here and just in the southwest part of this image, you can see the dam actually being constructed where there was none before and now it, it was in progress and now it's completed and the water backing up behind the dam. 
Fascinating. What about this? Glacial retreat or expansion. You can look at different places around the world. This is in Alaska, so you can see on the left side the 2019 where it's actually has expanded in this case rather than retreated. So you can get, again, pretty tight in here and see the left and the right side and the different dates. So five-year period in this case. You can also look at the different seasons as I mentioned earlier so you can see the type of the time of, of year where there in this case was the snow and ice cover more prevalent northern hemisphere going to be in the winter months December January February conversely look at glaciers glaciers in New Zealand see uh, uh, July June July August for the the coldest months of the year so for example if you say I want to share this and I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to paste it in a new tab I'm going to paste and go, and that way your end user that receives that share, they see exactly what you're seeing. So great teaching tool to share with students, colleagues, etc. They're going to open it up exactly how you left it with the left and the right side image and the swipe tool and the location on the planet. One more, take a look at changes in your local neighborhood. This is near our office in Colorado. You can see on the left side the more recent date. Uh, where you've got a big apartment complex to the north of us and on the right side the earlier date is uh, it being under construction. Let's say you want it in reverse. Let's say you want the left side to be older and the right side to be newer. Simple clicks and then you've got it. Again, share it with this tool on the left side. You can also share it on LinkedIn, etc, etc. Another thing though that you can do is you can you can get these images into ArcGIS Online. So if you unclick the swipe then notice you can say choose versions from the list to build a set of wayback layers so if I want to choose I can say add this and I want the 2020 and I want the and I'm going to click on only versions with local changes and I'm going to add the 2014 so now I've got two layers as you can see here this little two symbol and then I can say open these versions in a new web map so if I do that I'm going to be saying hey I want to ArcGIS Online, and you're going to need to have an account here. You can get a free one on developers.arcgis.com, or you can get one through your institution. Your institution probably has one, your local government, your university, your school. But then you're in ArcGIS Online. Now, why would you want to do this part? Well, the reason why is because when you've got it inside ArcGIS Online here, you can add a additional layers. So I'm going to open it in the map viewer, for example. And I've got, I'm going to have a couple of different layers, as you can see here. I've got the metadata, and I've also got the actual image. So I'm going to turn off the, I'm going to toggle 2014 and the 2020 image. But now I can add, I can add eco regions or population density or anything else to this image, okay, for additional analysis. The other thing that I wanted to share that you can do with this is that now that I've got it in a ArcGIS Online map, I can save this map, and then I can bring it into ArcGIS Pro for further analysis, imagery analysis, and again, spatial analysis tools. There are about 45 in ArcGIS Online in terms of spatial analysis tools, but if you bring it into Pro, you've got 1,100 plus spatial analysis tools at your fingertips. So again, the new an improved Wayback Imagery service from ESRI, just do a search on Wayback Imagery ESRI and you'll find it. And tr experiment. Go to different areas of the world, use the swipe tool, share, move it into an ArcGIS Online map, move it into ArcGIS Pro. Thanks.